Hi, I'm Mr. Castamill Middle School, and you're watching West Virginia History in two minutes or less. Today, we're going to go into how the government is set up in the state of West Virginia. So let's check out how those branches of power are divided. Here we go. The current Constitution of West Virginia was written in 1872, and our capital city is in Charleston, West Virginia. The House and Senate meet in chambers on the opposite sides of the Capitol building. The head of the executive branch is the governor, who is elected to a max of two four-year terms. Governor Underwood is both our youngest and oldest governor in history. In order to run for governor, you have to be at least 30 years old and have lived in the state for five years prior to the election. Unlike the President of the United States, governors can serve an unlimited number of terms, but only two consecutively. The governor's office has many powers, including proposing new laws, preparing and sending a budget to the legislature, commander-in-chief of the state's military forces, appointing heads of state agencies, and veto bills passed by the legislature. Some other state agencies that fall under the executive branch are the Secretary of State, Auditor, Treasurer, Attorney General, Agricultural Commissioner, and Superintendent of Schools. And in addition to, the governor has the power to appoint a lot of positions in the state. West Virginia's bicameral legislature is divided into the House of Delegates and Senate. There are 100 delegates that serve two-year terms that come from 50 different voting districts. The leader of the House of Delegates is the Speaker of the House and is chosen by the delegates. The state senate is comprised of two senators from each of the 17 voting districts in the state, comprising of 34 senators total. They serve four-year terms and have one seat from each district that is staggered to be up for election every two years. The senate president is chosen by the state senators. The state legislature is in session for 60 days a year, but the governor has the power to call special sessions. Some of their powers include making and passing laws, making constitutional amendments, and approving the governor's appointments. Courts in West Virginia are broken into four main types. Family courts, the magistrate court, circuit court, and at the top, the Supreme Court of Appeals. Family courts typically handle disputes related to families and children and can be appealed if they are lost. Often called the People's Court because of how many cases they hear, the Magistrate Court hear all sorts of cases including traffic related ones. Circuit Courts hear appeal cases from the lower courts and hear most criminal cases. They have jurisdiction over all civil cases over $2,500 like private property rights. At the top of West Virginia's court system is the Supreme Court of Appeals consisting of five judges serving 12-year terms. They hear an average of 3,000 cases a year. 